Reet then lads and lasses, how we doing and welcome back to the channel. I would say I hope you are all well, but I can guarantee you are feeling absolutely fantastic as Newcastle United beat the favourites to win the Carabao Cup 1-0 last night. In that second half, we just played absolutely fantastic. There's so much I could speak about and there's so much we are going to speak about. I'm just, I'm over the moon with this result. I'm happier than when we beat Sheffield United 8-0. There's so much to pick on from individual performances to who we've got in the next round. I mean, yes, we'll have Drew Manchester United in round four. It was bound to happen. Last year's final has already happened now. One of these teams are going to be going out. Of course they are. These are two very favourable teams to win. Of course, with Arsenal and Liverpool to win the whole tournament. Let's get straight into it. Now, as we know, Man City weren't even really up for this game, but don't take that away for how fantastic we played in that second half. In the first half, I think we were just letting Man City toy about with it, although they didn't even look that threatening. I think they had two chances via Julian Alvarez. One of them was actually a half-decent chance. That was probably the best chance they had all night, or maybe even that Rico Lewis shot at the end. But the first half, we were sort of passive. Uh, we were just nurturing the ball and letting them play their football. Second half, we're coming up threatening, all guns are blazing, and it looks like it worked for us well. I'm, oh, I'm chuffed. There were so many fantastic performances for me. Yet again, we were crying out for Lewis Hall and Tino Livermento minutes. And both of them impressed for me. One more than the other, Tino Livermento. We're going to speak on individual performances in a second. But let's just run through absolutely everyone, right? Matthew Target, absolutely solid. Paul Dummett and Jamal Lascelles, a duo which I was sort of worried about. But didn't put a foot wrong in the whole game. And I mean, didn't put a foot wrong. Paul Dummett, a.k.a. the Jordi Maldini. He's just aging like fine wine. Team Levermont, he had again, absolutely fantastic. Sandro Tonali, he picked up a bit of a knock. You can't really blame him. He had again, didn't play bad as he never has for Newcastle United. Bruno Gamma what a performance. Lewis Miley, I don't want to put too much pressure on. I mean, it's against the best team in the world. No matter how much of a weak inside they put out, they are still going to be a fantastic team. Coached under Pep Guardiola, probably the best coach in the world for me. It's his first start. I don't want to put too much pressure on him. Joel Linton was quality and Hall actually really impressed me. I've seen that he wasn't getting the best of ratings. Yes, I know he couldn't exactly adapt. He played fantastic against Manchester City recently, though, when he was playing with Chelsea. Played against them three or two or three times, actually, once in the league, of course. And I think it was twice in the cup. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's once in the cup or twice in the league. But he was so versatile in that game. You switch him with Joel Linton going left wing, left mid, um, left centre mid, sorry, should I say? We even seen him at left back at one point. Murphy could have scored. Uh, Gordon changed the game yet again. Alexander Isak got his goal. There's actually nothing not to like about this game. And we've made 10 changes and beat the best team in the world. Yes, yet again, Man City fans will say it's a weakened side. Your weakened side could easily get Europe in Premier League. E easily. But you know things are looking good if we've just beat Manchester City and knocked them out of the cup. They've won it the past four years in a row. And we've made 10 changes, resting many crucial players for that important Premier League fixture against Burnley on the Saturday. I can't wait. Botman's fully fit. Callum Wilson's fully fit. Dan Byrne. All these other players. Oh, squad depth is just such a great thing to have. Yet again, we never, ever get easy cup runs. I mean, last season, what did we get? Like five Premier League opponents. Was it Crystal Palace? Bournemouth, Leicester, Southampton, and of course Manchester United. Now it's Manchester City and Manchester United. I mean, anything could happen. Of course, it's at Old Trafford, by the way. If you're a fan like me who loves going to games, that is going to be a fantastic away day. I mean, I hope that it's 8pm, um, dark night, under the lights at Old Trafford, and I hope we just come away from it. They're in a bit of a lingo at the moment, right? I know they'll just be Crystal Palace 3-0, as you should, especially in the Cup. But they're in a bit of a lingo. I think if we go there and field a strong 11, a proper strong 11... We could take everything away from Manchester United. We could go into that next round, knock another strong opponent out of the team, see what Arsenal and Liverpool are doing. I'm sure Arsenal's got... Who's Arsenal got? I forgot who Arsenal's got, but I do know that Liverpool have got Bournemouth. Yet again, another Premier League fixture. Actually, now I'm saying that, I'm pretty sure Arsenal do have West Ham. Of course, it'll be on the screen now, so you'll know if I'm telling the truth or not. But yet again, if that is true... Four Premier League teams are playing there. One Premier League team was going out. Like ours, we could be going out. But it's all to play for up there. It genuinely is all up to play for. Is Eric Ten Hag going to prioritise the EFL Cup? Are we going to prioritise it? Does he want to win it again? I think we really should go for this. I think we really should. Eddie Howe says he's going to prioritise every single competition. And I love that determination from him. I, I'm very excited. That's all I can say. I'm very, very excited. And by the way, if you didn't know this stat, since Man United are playing at home, I'm pretty sure it's something like the past 13 or 14 games in the AFL Cup, 
they've played it at home. It might be FA Cup as well. The chances of that are 1 in 4,096. Now, I'm not here saying, oh, it's rigged, it's rigged. These things can happen. I mean, obviously, you have a chance if it's 1 in 10 billion. Do you know what I mean? So, it's not as if it's rigged, but there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, of course, we weren't actually meant to get Manchester City. We were meant to get Fulham, I think it was, because Norwich was placed before us in the original draw for the third round. But it's we get who we're given, lads. And we're just going to have to deal with it. And we're just going to have to smash them. But honestly, back on Etienne Oliver Mendel, I'm so reassured that that right-back spot is just covered for the next decade. We've got one of the best right-backs in the league right now, Kieran Trippier. If Tino Oliver Mendel doesn't learn off Kieran Trippier, I don't know what to say. Like, they, yet again, I'm going to say this, Tino Oliver Mendel is going to learn so much off him. He's probably one of the best players to learn off, nevertheless even being a right-back and an English promising one as well. That performance was unbelievable. And learning off Kieran Trippier, who's been in Champions League finals, who's been in World Cup semi-finals, Euro finals, who's played in some of the most important games in world football, he can learn off him. It's fantastic. I'd be chuffed to see Lewis Hall getting a proper start against Burnley on Saturday as well. Of course, Burnley haven't even won a game in the Premier League yet. They're not looking too powerful whatsoever. Give Lewis Hall a little run out. Let him pick up his feet and hopefully he can become a starter. Of course, Dan Burns done a fantastic job. He might not be the flashiest of names. He might make a couple of mistakes. He might be slow, but he's done a job for the past year and a half. And we've got him in the Champions League. And we've kept, was it now, four clean sheets in a row. I'm not blaming him whatsoever. But Lewis Hall, he's young, he's promising, he looks absolutely composed on the ball. For the young lad, he speaks so well. Um, it's very exciting times for Newcastle United. And these exciting prospects that we'll have, Livermento, Lewis Hall, Lewis Miley, Anthony Gordon, all these players, the list goes on. But that's all from me, Manchester United in the round four of the EFL Cup. Give them absolutely everything. Give them everything. Give us a strong lineup and just fight for it, lads. As you always do, Anthony Gordon, we've seen how much he cares to win that ball back. Give us absolutely everything and we won't complain. Win, lose, we don't care. Absolutely love it. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and you enjoyed our performance last night, hit the like button and smash the subscribe button. I'll see you all tomorrow.